What is Regen Ag? Um, well, really, it comes down to a holistic view of your production system in the total landscape. But the two main factors that we've been focusing on here is enhancing the soil carbon cycle and having a positive influence on it, not a negative influence. How do we drive microbial populations in the soil and make them useful to our production system? There's a bigger picture at play here, which is the general climate, um, and we're trying to make ourselves resilient, but we're also trying to be you know, carbon positive rather than just carbon neutral. So it works across a number of levels. Family have been here since 1983. Uh, over the years, we've seen a, you know, a reasonable change in vineyard varieties and bits and pieces, uh, with a with a fair skew towards uh, Mediterranean and hot climate varieties now, from the traditional French sort of cool climate varieties when Mum and Dad started us. We're standing in a tributary of what is Breakneck Creek, which starts up in the foothills uh, behind us in McLaren Vale, and it's about halfway between the foothills and the ocean, and we're in the in the Rebnet Creek area that we're trying to revegetate and, and clear out of woody weeds. Well, the aim first and foremost was obviously to clear out the really noxious woody weed population. So in this area, it was mostly uh, wild olive with a little bit of rose briar and a few other bits and pieces. And then because we had this quite open um, landscape here, we thought it was um, you know, a real opportunity to then come back and revegetate with it. There were about 26 different species in here, varying heights and spread and bits and pieces depending on, on the landscape. So we worked really heavily with Dana Miles uh, of uh, Hills and Flurio Landscape Board. She came out and did the original assessment. I mean, the original clearing was, was sort of off our back a bit. We just, we wanted to see this returned to, to a reasonably tidy and natural state. I and mean, it wasn't until we started working with Dana and Jeff, they then came on board and helped us secure some funding, but the planting material and then all the planting has been done by the staff here at, uh, at Least Gag Agri over the course of two, two winters. So it's been a real collaboration between Least Agri and the Hills and Flurio Landscape Board. So we're standing in our uh, one of our blocks of uh, Shirar, which is obviously a mainstay great variety of McLaren Vale. Um, it does well in warm climates, but it's obviously you know the pressure that's on you know climate change. Well, climate variability rather than climate change is that you know the, the extremes are, are the, the challenges for us. So what we're trying to build here, because we want to continue to grow Shirar in McLaren Vale and grow it well, is buffer those out by having you know, a really resilient ecosystem in the vineyard. So that, that means if we've got good carbon levels or we've got good soil sort of microbial levels, we can reduce the need for inputs. And hopefully what we see here is a really true reflection of what the soil is, which is um, you know, full of uh, native flora and fauna that, uh, that then produce um, some world-class wines. So what we want is um, cover the whole year round. It doesn't have to be living cover, that would be ideal, but of course we're in, a, you know, we're in an area where we don't get a lot of summer rainfall. But we want to have a, a, an insulating layer on the soil because um, you know, soil microbial life um, don't like temperatures above about 35 degrees. So at the moment that would be, by the end of today, it'll be 40 something. Any farmer that uh, has a connectedness to the land, um, I think has a, has a real sense of place and that's what we feel about here. Um, we hear it a lot about leaving um, you know, landscapes in better condition. I think it gets used a little bit flippantly. I think we really, what we're trying to say is that we, we have started uh, in something that was slightly degraded and we're, we acknowledge that we've had a part to play in that, but we're making really conscious, um, concerted effort to then improve it uh, and then improve it further into the future so that whoever steps onto this land, whether it's our family or whether it's the next person, can genuinely see it as an improved state from where it was, um, you know, even in this sort of point in time.